How are you guys today? I'm going to take you through what me and my lovely sister eat in a day. So my sister is actually no longer carnivore. As of fairly recently, I've been incorporating uh, more plant foods, more carbohydrates into her diet as she has achieved her weight loss goals, her lean body mass goals for the most part. Uh, myself, I am still carnivore. And uh, if you're wondering why it's dark outside, it's actually the night before our day of eating because I prep all the food for my sister. So I'm actually going to make her breakfast now and I'm also going to get my meat out to defrost for tomorrow. So right now in my downstairs freezer, I just have a bunch of ground beef from Frankie's free range meat that I've been eating and I eat two pounds a day. So that's what I'm taking out right now. I'll show you guys my gym sometime this week. And I'll just put the ground beef on a plate to thaw out overnight. Now my sister is having pancakes and egg whites. This is actually a pancake batter I made with really high quality ingredients. So, you know, instead of regular flour, eggs, milk, uh, sugar, and butter, I used, you know, raw milk, organic wheat flour, pasture-raised eggs, raw honey, you know, raw vanilla bean, just super duper high quality ingredients to make this more nutritious and uh, less inflammatory. And let me give this a whiff. And you, you could really smell the difference. It's like more complex, it tastes a lot better. And this isn't even necessarily a treat. You know, you could have this every day and it's perfectly healthy. So uh, we're gonna make a couple of these pancakes and some butter. Uh, we'll saute up the egg whites and butter. And uh, in the morning, you know, she can just put a little bit of maple syrup on the pancakes. Just have some, you know, maple syrup here. Real stuff, it's very tasty. We don't have raw butter today, but I'm using organic butter for both the pancakes and the eggs. So for the egg whites, I'm just gonna cook the whole container. And this will probably be, you know, two or three days worth of egg whites. So all I put in the egg whites is a pinch of salt for her. So the egg whites are done, I'm just gonna get them on a tray to cool off. And I just do this so they don't overcook too much. All right, the butter's all heated up, so we're gonna put maybe two small pancakes in here for her. Now guys, keep in mind, my sister only weighs like 100 pounds, so I try not to go you know, too crazy on the portions. I like these pancakes because you make one batch of batter, and that'll last you one to two weeks. So it's pretty quick in the morning, you know, just saute them for a few minutes and you have a nutritious, tasty breakfast. I think I showed you guys the carnivore pancake recipe a couple weeks ago, but this is just, you know, a regular healthy pancake recipe. I could start showing you guys this stuff too. Now this is great for your kids, great for people with, you know, less strict dietary uh, beliefs. These are actually a little too big, but it's fine. I just don't want, you know, my sister will gain like 10 pounds in a week if I let her eat what she wants. I think I put too much baking soda in these. You know, normally in a healthy pancake recipe, I would omit the baking soda. Uh, but, you know, since, you know, my family eats so much other crap, it doesn't really matter. So I put some baking soda in here. The natural alternative would be to, you know, ferment it a little bit. Use a sourdough culture or something like that. All right, pancakes are done. So this is gonna be two days of breakfast for her. You know, sometimes I'll even prep three, four, five, six days in advance. Uh, one thing to make sure you're doing is that you get enough vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 in your diet. If you're not tanning and getting a lot of sun, and if you're not eating a lot of fermented foods, you're not gonna be getting these nutrients. So what I like doing is, you know, I'll give my sister, you know, maybe 10 drops of, of this on her breakfast in the morning for the vitamin D. And then for the vitamin K2, you know, we'll do, you know, two or three drops. Uh, and this is more of a maintenance dose. You know, if you were deficient in these nutrients, uh, you would be using more of these. Uh, so you can get these on organsupplements.com. Uh, vitamin D3 and vitamin K2. And I'll have some more stuff for you guys shortly. Uh, but this is basically it. You know, she's getting all the nutrition she needs for the day in one meal because I'm giving her this stuff. You know, the only thing you would want additionally... Uh, is really just energy calories, you know, perhaps some vitamin C, uh, perhaps slightly more B vitamins, but, you know, you're really good to go because the pancakes have the raw butter, the pasture-raised eggs, the raw milk, super high-quality ingredients, you know, you have a lot of protein and B vitamins from the egg whites, and by using this stuff, you know, you're removing the concern of getting the sunlight and the fermented foods. Uh, so I'm going to pop this in the fridge for my sister, and that's just gonna sit out overnight. This way I can wake up whenever I want. You know, my schedule is wonky, it's all over the place. 
You know, sometimes I'll stay up till 5 a.m. Sometimes I'll go to bed at 8 p.m. So, you know, by having her meals prepped ahead of time, I don't have to worry that she's not eating something, you know, she's not supposed to be eating. And, you know, my meal timing, my meal schedule doesn't really matter. So, you know, she's gonna have her breakfast in there, she's gonna have her lunch in there, and pretty much any meal she needs, um, you know, in case I'm not awake or, or here to give her something. We're filming what me and you eat in a day. Oh, hi! So, what did you have so far, Jeannie? You just had breakfast? I had my brother Frank's delicious out of the world pancakes, which was so yummy. What'd you put on them? Um, I used your organic syrup, a tiny dot maple syrup. A tiny dot? Are you sure you didn't drink half the bottle? I would if it was physically possible. I do find it unusual that you specified you used a tiny dot of maple syrup. Well, the organic is not that... Are you sure you only used a little bit? I'm very positive. Okay. I know I go... I went to bed about 4 a.m., but I probably didn't fall asleep until 5 or 6, so yeah. Sleep is definitely not on the priority list lately. Uh, you guys saw how my sister liked breakfast and now she's slapping mustard. Gina, how much mustard are you putting on the hot dogs? Gina, that's plenty of mustard. That's way too much mustard. It's gonna, Gina, that's too much mustard. What are you doing? Come out, dang it. It's, that's enough mustard, Gina. Just spread it around. Uh, so she's having lunch right now. Uh, it's about 12.30. I'm gonna have my ground beef with bone broth that you guys have been seeing me have the past few days. And uh, then we're gonna work out. So this is her lunch. She's got some hot dogs and about as much mustard as hot dogs for some reason. I don't know how she eats it. Uh, these are organic hot dogs I get at Whole Foods. Usually they have uh, chicken or turkey or beef hot dogs. I try to switch them up here and there. And uh, that's what she's been having for you know at least one meal a day lately. And they're not too cheap, but they're not too expensive either. Uh, just a real nice easy prep. Just throw them in the pan with some water or with some butter, however you want to poach them or sear them. I think today is a passive aggressive day where my mother puts all of my stuff hidden away for some reason. Uh, maybe it's because she's blasting herself with her radiation phone all day. Okay. Uh, so here we have one pound of grass-fed ground beef from Frankie's syringe meat. Uh, here we have some homemade bone broth. Uh, that I made last week. I've been doing this on a weekly basis now. And honestly, guys, I haven't really noticed, you know, a difference in how I feel, you know, with the bone broth, with the slightly different amino acid profile, despite having large amounts of bone broth every single day for weeks. Uh, but I like the taste and it makes the ground beef more enjoyable. So the only thing I add to this is some salt. Well, what else have you been having lately, Gina, just for lunch and stuff? Like lately I have, like sometimes I have the roast beef, which is very good. Uh, yeah, you said you have the bone broth too sometimes? Sometimes. Sometimes a little bit of like cream with the vanilla in it. But sometimes I just have it plain. I don't normally put anything in it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much what I eat. And dinner, dinner is sometimes whatever like, mom or dad have. And yeah, then whatever they have, you have hot dogs too. Sometimes hot dogs. Also the... What are those beef stick things again? The hot dogs, you know. You no, mean the hot dogs? You eat, don't you normally eat those like beef sticks that taste no. spicy? Have you had them, Gina? No, I think uh How do you know how they're spicy then? They I smelled them once. Oh, you sure you didn't have any? Okay, I tried like one and a half maybe. I tried one, they're not bad. She she like only eats stuff she's not supposed to eat. I can't. I don't even know what she eats anymore. She just eats everything. I just add some bone broth to the meat. So it's maybe half a cup of bone broth. And if you guys look at the cooking temperature of the ground beef, you know, about half of it is raw. So that's what I've been doing lately. You guys hear my uh, washing machine in the background? It's like a whirlpool. Like, uh, like we're hunting the Loch Ness Monster. I can't even think straight, it's so loud. All right, so that's my first meal. I gotta rub some vitamin D3 on my pee pee. And uh, we gotta take some vitamin K2. We need a drop of vitamin K2. Uh, we need some copper. And I'll take some magnesium today as well. Oh, and I'll take my... I've been forgetting to take my beef testy supplement so my PP doesn't get too hard. Or my PP is getting too hard. I'm getting sick of this bodybuilding stuff, man. I'm getting sick of this. The thing about bodybuilding is your macronutrient intake is so excessive that you don't need to eat nutrient-dense foods every meal. You know, only a small percent of your calories needs to be nutritious. So this meal is really just a lot of B vitamins, proteins, amino acids, 
and we're going to supplement the D3 and the K2, the magnesium and the beef testes. You know, from the nutrient density perspective, we are missing some omega-3s, but those aren't needed in super high amounts on a daily basis. You know, the main purpose of this meal is just to get everything we need for bodybuilding to build up muscle tissue. Past few days, I haven't been as hungry. I've only been eating like half a pound to three quarters of a pound of meat per meal. That bone broth I make has a lot of seaweed in it, which is very high in electrolytes. So I haven't really found the need to salt my food as much anymore. Getting a ton of potassium, iodine, magnesium through that seaweed that leaches into the broth. I'm not full, but I'm kind of satisfied. So I'm not gonna, you know, overeat this meal. Uh, you know, just keep my stomach nice and uh, nice and relaxed. So it's about 12:40 right now. I'm gonna have a couple tablespoons of raw honey. Uh, I'll do some work for like half an hour, 40 minutes, just catch up on some emails. Uh, we'll do uh, the orders for my companies. And then the second meal will probably be in like five or six hours from now. Oh, and I'm going to take those supplements off camera. So it's two milligrams of copper glyconate. Uh, we're going to have 200 milligrams of magnesium glyconate. It's going to be six of the male virility uh, from organ supplements. And then my D3 and K2. I'm just going to do like three drops of each. But I'll see you guys uh, for the next meal, uh, and before that, we might actually do my sister's dinner. So for dinner, my sister's gonna have the barbecue short ribs that you guys saw me make on Saturday, and I'm gonna have the same thing I had earlier. We're gonna have uh, some ground beef with the bone broth, but the difference for this meal is I'm not gonna have the vitamins again. I'm just gonna have the copper supplement to balance the zinc. Uh, so I decided to dish the bone broth uh, for this meal. I think I'm just gonna use uh, a couple tablespoons of French mustard. Uh, so this is something I really like. The only ingredients are, you know, water, vinegar, mustard, seed, salt, and spices. So, you know, no additives or anything. Uh, this is another good brand I like uh, that you might see at Whole Foods. So, you know, I'll use the mustard from time to time. Mm. Sheena, how do you like the beef ribs? Mm. Not too enthusiastic today, huh? Not too happy? Mm. You want to end the day on a sour note for the YouTube people? This is pretty good. You just have to be used to eating it. Eating uh, meat. Normally, I'm not a fan of red meat. Uh, chicken, fish, eggs. Well, not everyone gets to be a spoiled little brat. Unfortunately, that's just part of my sister's personality. She doesn't have certain, you know, social and communication aspects that people normally do. Uh, but that's going to be uh, the day of eating for me and my sister today. Uh, I might give her a snack later. I mean. You know, she hasn't been acting that great lately, so usually I don't like giving her a snack, especially when, you know, she's eating pancakes and pretty much whatever she wants throughout the day. Uh, but we'll see, you know, sometimes I do some raw cacao, some organic cookies, really depends. So my sister already ate her snack uh, before I could grab it on camera, like a ravenous, what's the word, what's a good animal, vulture or something. Uh, so this is some organic cacao butter uh, that I, I think I got this at Whole Foods as well. Uh, the difference between cacao butter and regular cacao nibs is that, you know, the chocolate solids are removed. Uh, so this has a higher fat content and zero carbohydrates. Uh, so if you guys want something that's pure fat, uh, this is probably really popular uh, for keto too. Uh, some organic cacao butter. I actually have some uh, Parmesan crisps in here as well. If you guys aren't allergic to dairy, uh, th these are very, very expensive, but uh, you know, nice to have once in a while. Better off making them yourself. Uh, but if you guys have any questions about what I ate today or you want to check out, you know, some of the things I did eat, uh, you can go to Frankie's Free Range Meat as well as OrganSupplements.com. Uh, definitely let me know if you guys have any uh, questions about the recipes. Uh, if you do want to support me further, there's that stuff down in the comments below as well as frank farcom You guys can check out my book and Frankie's Naturals for Minimal Ingredients and Minimally Processed Hygiene and Cosmetic Products. Uh, of course, if you guys could please like the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't and leave me a comment down below. You guys enjoy the rest of your night.